Hey, hello, people watching at home. This is Sitting and Talking with Phoenix. That's right, Sat with Phoenix. And I just finished shopping. Check it out. Just went to the reject shop. Once a week, I, you know, when I get paid, if I have money to spare, I hit the reject shop because I got this discount bin for like 50% off whatever's inside. And the things that are inside have already been marked down 50%. So really, it's like. You know, something that costs, you know, 10 bucks originally will end up costing, like, $2.50 or something crazy like that. So, I spent about 35 bucks here. Check this out. Let's have a look at what I bought. I got myself a nice little blow gun for shooting little wet paper mache bits at people's face holes. And I got myself a belt. Yeah, that's right, a belt for, like, hundreds of these little fuckers. And uh, that came to about, you know, seven bucks in total. This came to like fucking 25 cents for some Alfredo pasta. If that's not making a fucking saving, I don't know what it is. This was 25 cents, and there are these little reflective things. I have no idea what. But I thought the one with the skull in it looked cool for 25 cents. And hey, maybe I can get creative and do something with the other ones. So whatever, whatever. All right, what's this? So this is 50 cents for some tattoos. So these are cool, I like using these to stick on like furniture or whatever, you know, speakers or some, you know, your cupboards. And uh, you can peel them off eventually, but they stick there pretty well and they won't, they won't go away until you do scratch them off. So, temporary tattoos, you know, I hardly ever actually use them on my body because what a waste. They just, you know, temporary doesn't mean they have to be gone within 24 hours. It lasts a lot longer if you put them on a hard surface. So, there's some pretty cool ones in there from the looks of it. What else have I got? Oh, check this out. Check this out. It's like a little etch -a sketch Except it's like fucking mad neon. That's what we're doing right now. Sitting and talking. That was like 25 cents, you know? These babies are like 60 cents each. Pow! You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm saying like... I got like over 10 of these now when I have like boxing matches and shit. So I gotta have a lot of spares because I imagine some serious damage is gonna be wreaked. Uh, yeah. Oh, this is gonna be useful. Uh, $2.50 for this. This is for my, my iPhone because my other one's only for iPhone 5s apparently for some reason. The, the eye department, you know, Apple somehow deems it necessary. You know, it, to, to make it even harder to use their, their shit. You, like, for each new product you buy, you're going to have to buy a new charger, a new this and a new that. You know, it's one thing that they don't even have USB ports on the uh, on the tabs, like in the, the iPads. Um, you know, meaning uh, you have to buy all these various attachments, only Apple sells, just to be able to use your basic, you know, flash drives and shit like that. Like, so apparently you need a, a unique adapter per phone. Or the, the iPhone 5 needs a, sp a specific... Whatever the fuck. Too much time on this video dedicated to Apple. Yeah, I got some nerds for a buck. For a buck. Fucking fuck off heaps of nerds. More punching stuff. Smelly lavender flower shit for like 60 cents. Right? Noodles for a buck each. And yes, they have a bit of palm oil in them. I feel so guilty. <gasps> Noise putty. This was only selling for like 50 cents. And I think it's because it, it didn't have a lid. So I'm going to have to sticky tape it. But is it, does it work? Let me I have to use my right hand because I'm right-handed. This takes skill. All right. Let's get my fingers in there. I don't know. It's not really. Oh, I think I. Oh, that reminds me of something. Oh, you hit. This is actually feels really good. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's juicy. Oh, I could do this for hours later. Um, all right, so these things, best invention. Kudos to the guy that came up with these things. He'd be a fucking zillionaire by now. Uh, this cost me a buck. That wasn't in the secondhand section of the reject shop, which is already like a secondhand place. It's all the shit that doesn't sell elsewhere. Goes to the reject shop and then gets rejected furthermore and makes... Rendered even more cheap, you know, like one of those retarded orphans without any arms or legs. Hell cheap to buy on eBay. Oh yeah, look at this. Love chocolate truffles. Look how, look at that packaging. How swish, how swish is that packaging, right? 
And uh, all together, that cost me 25 cents. If you half that, 25 cents. So naturally, I capitalized on this. And I, I bought myself several, quite, you know, several of these. So whenever I, I hang out with a nice lady friend, I'm like, well, here, Dolly, and have yourself some very exquisite love truffles. And pff, they're not going to know any better, are they? Sweet stuff. Oh, look at that. Air freshener for the toilet. Vanilla. It's always a safe flavor. It's, you know, it's not too extreme in any way, but it's nice. You know, it gets the job done. Three dollars for this. This wasn't second hand, but you know, still cheap. Three dollars for shampoo. I use the one that's got the extra vitamins because if it has extra vitamins written on the label, it's got to be so much better for you. More noodles. Decorative rocks for fifty cents because you can never have too many decorative stones. Right? Clothes pegs. I'm saying hairspray. I'm saying smelly stuff that you put on like candle burner things or oil burners. I don't know, it was 35 cents, and it looked like chocolate, right? Or some Lego type thing. So I had to, I had to get it. More noodles. You got my, my, see how I got my priorities in order. And super glue, which is useful. Two bucks. Oh, this is probably the coolest thing, last but not least. The spider magic saw set. Which I'm not, oh yeah, that was 50 cents. For that little baby. Isn't that awesome? So there you go. A whole lot of shit. This is gonna be fun to fucking hassle, hassle random people. I might even make a video of myself hassling, hassling some poor and suspecting fools with it. And uh, yeah, you know these things would probably cost you like, I've seen them price like fifteen dollars and shit elsewhere. That's half the amount of everything that's here. They only came to like thirty dollars, thirty-five dollars. So, reject shop, people. It's the savvy way to shop. And if I'm doing it, it's got to be savvy, right? Because who be savvier? Cheers for watching, guys! Whoa!